welcome back to my channel sorry about the really bad lighting i'm right in front of a window and it's very harsh but anyways we'll just ignore that today's video is not about me it is about this beauty right here as y'all know if you follow me on instagram and even on here i've complained about it before my computer i'll have to show you right here I have the 2010 Mac 21, 21.5 inch, I believe it is. I've had it since 2010, and that's what I've been using. I've been using iMovie, the very old iMovie, to edit my videos, just because I was like, at the top, like, you know, it worked. I didn't need, well, I did need something better, but I wanted to wait. And so I saved up and I invested in this awesome Mac. I'm so excited. I actually am a little like annoyed because I bought this and literally like a week after I ordered it, the new Macs, like Apple said that they were coming out with new Macs that are in colors. So I was like, really? But I'm just gonna stick with this one. I literally maxed out everything on this so it was a very expensive computer because i want it to be good for gaming editing and just faster overall because that 2010 mac is very slow so yeah this was a big investment um but obviously i would not have been able to get it if it wasn't for you guys so i just want to give a huge shout out to y'all and thank you so much for supporting me and helping me to be able to get this so that way my videos and stuff like that can be 10 times better for y'all i promise they will get better your girl's gonna get final cut pro no more iMovie uh but yeah i'm very excited for all the new content i will be able to create with this and i just again wanted to say thank you guys so much if you do like my videos and want me to keep creating content it is very much appreciated if you if you engage with my videos um Watch the whole video. Don't skip the ads. It definitely helps me continue to put out content for y'all. And who knows, maybe I will be able to do this full time soon. I, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're going to be doing the... We're going to be doing a Mac unboxing. I got the 27 inch 2020 Mac. Maxed out literally everything and I'm actually putting the RAM. I maxed out the RAM, but I bought it separately and I'm actually going to put it in the computer myself. It was cheaper that way. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. This big box that we got to get it out of. So I need to figure out where on earth I need to um, snip snip. I guess right here. I don't really know. I don't know if that's right. I don't even know if my, like, desk is going to be able to fit this, honestly. Uh. Oh. Okay, so this was at the top. This is the... What is this? The keyboard? Yeah. I just got the basic keyboard. Um, They had a different option, but it was more money, and I was like, I don't really need... Anything crazy? Okay, it's got the keyboard and then the mouse. Oh, it's all fresh and new. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So, just. Ta da! I'm like nervous. Like, I don't know how to. I don't want to break it. I don't know what to do. Hold on. Okay, so here is the charger. Oh, yikes. Why does this move?
It's so much bigger than the 21 and a half inch. That's wild. Hmm. I don't even think I'm gonna have room for this on my desk. All right, now we're taking off the, this isn't even a screen protector, it's like sticky. Do I need a screen protector for this? I don't think I do. I mean, it's not like I carry anywhere. Oh my gosh, it's so crisp. Oh. Alright, so now I have the RAM and I'm going to show you guys how to put your own RAM in your Mac just to save you some money. All right, so disconnect the power cord and then lay the screen down on a towel or mat so it doesn't get scratched and press the button in the power port which will pop open the back. All right, so once it's out, you'll notice on the back of that, you'll see a diagram which will show you and kind of help direct you and where to put a memory card. So push the levers out to the sides and then raise them up and pull it towards you and then pull out any memory card that's already in there like I had eight gigabytes so I removed that and then I'm just gonna put in the 128 which is for 32 gigabytes so you're putting the memory card in the slots and then just make sure they're tightly in there Right now that I've gotten them all in there, I'm closing it up. Just push it back in, put the top back on, and voila. All right, so to figure out if the RAM worked, you go to About This Mac, and then you go over to Memory, and here it says 128 gigabytes installed, and it saves you a significant amount of money. And you've got your RAM. Okay, so this is the RAM that I bought. It's crucial, 32 gigabytes. You get four of them. It's 212. The price fluctuates, so it could be cheaper one day, a little bit more the next. I just went ahead and ordered mine through B&H. That's where I also got my computer, so I just ordered it all together to save time. Okay, so the base price of a Mac mid 2020 27 inch is 2399 but I maxed out everything except for the memory so with that maxed out now the price for the Mac is going to be 4499 and let's see what the price difference is if I go to 128 gigabytes Wow, it jumped up to 7099 where it's I only had to pay 200 extra for the 128 gigabyte. So definitely take advantage of putting in your own RAM. Saves you so much money. All right, do you see the size, the difference between the 21 and a half and then the 27? Huge. I don't even know how that's gonna like fit on my desk. We'll have to figure it out. So this one again is 2010. This one is much thinner. Whereas, look at how thick this one is. Like, very thick. I also had to put tape on this one because one day the camera like randomly turned on and I was super sketched out so that shall be covered. Like look how thin that is. That's crazy. All right I guess we shall plug it up and turn it on. Ooh. All right so here is the mouse. Literally looks just like the other one. Ugh, it's 
so crisp. Comes with a charger. Is that all it comes with? What's the charger for? I don't understand. To charge your keyboard? Is that how you do it? Oh my gosh, I think you do. You charge your keyboard, whereas the other one you do batteries. Is this real life? Like, is this for real? Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so we need to plug up. Okay, so we need to plug up our keyboard. Because I didn't realize that you had to charge your keyboard now. That's honestly going to be kind of annoying. I much rather prefer batteries. But whatever. Alright, and then I guess you turn it on. Alright, now I need to figure out the mouse situation. Alright, you still need to charge this. How do you... Okay, wait, hold on, what? No, do you have to charge this too? Seriously? I don't have enough chargers. This is bogus. I'm assuming since you have to charge this stuff that it's gonna, the charge will last a lot longer because batteries last a long time. So I'm not trying to have to charge this every day. You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of annoying. This is the screen, it is so big. I need to download Final Cut Pro. Okay, this is Safari. Do you see how fast that came up? That was not fast on the other one. It would take forever for Safari or anything to pop up. All right, am I supposed to hit the thing? I don't really know, what's this? Oh, two Safaris came up, wow, all right, goo. How do they already know my favorites? That's suspicious. Okay, so I also want to include some like customization things for your Mac. And one of these is a you can change the image of your folder so it's not just like a boring folder to make it more aesthetic and I just did like a sparkly little star I honestly might change it I'm gonna make a little canva background for this so this honestly might not even go with it right now but yeah that's what I'm about to do and then I'll show you all the final result but to change your folder Obviously, I downloaded the image, and what you want to do is hit get info, and then basically you want to open up this photo, the photo you have saved that is a PNG, so there's like no background. You want to, where's my mouse, copy it, you just go copy, and then once you get here, you just paste it right there, and then boom, you've got a customized little folder. And yeah. Alright guys, whew, I look a hot mess. I feel a hot mess, but 
the Mac. I showed you guys the unboxing, everything I got with it and how to customize your own RAM because RAM can be really expensive if you buy it like super, like if you buy the highest RAM straight from like Apple or B&H, I got mine from B&H, it's ridiculously expensive. So I saved so much money just putting the RAM in myself. It was super easy. And yeah, this is the mid 2020 Mac 27 inch and <clears throat> I spent around like five grand on it. And I downloaded Final Cut Pro, customized it, and I'm pretty sure, I'll try and go into all the specs. I might do a voiceover and show you everything I got because I can't really remember off the top of my head. I just know I maxed out pretty much everything, like, that's why the computer was so expensive, but it's worth it. I'm always on my computer, always editing. I want to do some gaming videos, so I'll need, like, Sims content, so I needed a very fast computer. And something that could handle it that wouldn't crash but yeah thank you so much for watching this video it's very different i've never done an unboxing especially on like well i've never done a tech unboxing so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to watch the whole video don't skip the ends follow me on instagram at Stewart. hit that subscribe button and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video